guys, we are that much closer to stepping on stage. Good morning, by the way. It's September 30th. Just got to my hotel. It's called the Expo Hotel. My biggest pet peeve in the world, like in the free, I have a lot, but my biggest one is the wet floors in the bathroom and the fact that, did you guys see that? There is no floor and like there's one floor in the bathroom. So when I shower, all the water is gonna be on the one floor that I'm gonna be stepping on in the bathroom. Who does that? Either way, I don't have to shower tomorrow, but I do have to shower today. <laughs> um, gotta shave my body exfoliate a little bit that's kind of like my pre competition routine is just exfoliating shaving my body and just waiting until i get my tan which should be sometime tonight i don't even have it scheduled because they said that everything was going to happen at registration it's always kind of hard competing abroad because the language barrier and then everything is just done so differently so like makeup appointment hasn't been made um my tanning appointment hasn't been made i'll be doing my own hair of course praying that none of my hot tools break i should probably test that actually before tomorrow um because sometimes the voltage is different but i did double check triple checked actually before i left my house so the voltage shouldn't be too different but yeah like the arena is literally right there so i head over there in a bit um Simonka is actually here. I met her in Bratislava. She was a subscriber and then we became pretty good friends like literally just clicked instantly So she's here at the expo working with I don't know what company so I'm definitely gonna have to go and find her and say hello um, I'm just gonna kind of finish getting settled here this morning I had my last workout before the competition. I'll be training again Sunday hopefully but um, I did upper body, a little bit of glutes, of course, the 200 calories of cardio, and then just headed back to the apartment, packed up, and now we here. So I'm gonna grab a bite to eat. I don't know what yet because there's no way for me to make hot water. Might have to go downstairs and find some hot water for my oatmeal because I need hot water. Getting excited, feeling good. Um, I definitely feel like my head is in a way better place than Florida and I'm sure the fact that I feel a lot more confident with my package this time around definitely helps and just the fact that everything has, even though there's been like a lot of bumps, everything's worked out in the end and it always does and that's what I'm trying to remind myself if I start feeling any kind of like nerves or anything or because I have to do this and I have to do that. I'm gonna eat, gonna get settled and I will see you guys later. Of course, I was too lazy to actually go downstairs and get hot water, so I just used hot water from the sink, which wasn't hot enough, clearly, and I just got some peanut butter cup oatmeal soup. It doesn't taste bad, at least, but it's just, like, weird. It's literally soup. I have to put some color on my face, but just want to quickly show you. I am packing up my food to head over to the expo, and then I'm gonna do registration as well. Possibly be there until we have to do like the whole athletes meeting and conference thing, greet and meet that's going on tonight. I don't know. There's like so much stuff happening. I'm gonna just pack all my stuff, and I'm packing a meal as well. I packed a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and I packed a salad just with chicken, and then I'm also bringing Simonka some Power Crunch bars because she's never tried them before so i don't think she expects me to bring them to her i just asked her i was like oh do you guys have power crunch bars here and she's like no i've never tried them before so i'm like girl i got you so i'm gonna pack her some of those i'm gonna quickly put something on my face and head over there because it's getting late and i haven't really gotten much done besides posing and posing and posing <laughs> guys i made it and i didn't get lost and i found a canadian beauty Ms. cynthia benoit how are you feeling feels so good so ready are you ready i'm so ready she literally decided to do this last minute and i love that about her it's something like being spontaneous and just doing something because you want to do it right yeah, yeah. hey go ahead yeah. <laughs> Look who I found! Simonka! Like how I 
I said that. Mm -hmm. It's her first expo ever. It is. Working, right? Mm -hmm. An expo and like being at an expo. Mm -hmm. And yeah. how, how do you Everything, like it? All of it. I love it. I love it. What I got for you. Oh, I love you. You so much. <laughs> Hold on. I got the best flavor though. Oh, you, <laughs> you gave me two of them. You guys, literally my suitcase is gonna hate me so much more now. And look at the goodies that Simonka brought me. There's speculus on here. And then there's coconut, chocolate, and pecan. And these things are so amazing. Oh my god. I found some YouTube fam and some Insta fam and all fit fam. So awesome. Like literally the fact that there's people here in Czech Republic that know me. Thank you. What's your YouTube channel? Anna Fotoma. Go check her out guys. Hi. Just starting out and you guys know we gotta support each other. So go do it. So I'm all changed into this little tracksuit that they gave us. They even gave us a jacket. Like what? What is this? You know what? Like I don't even care how I do. Like this is enough for me. <laughs> We're about to head to the press conference, is it? Yeah. Just getting back from the athletes meeting and look at what I got. I got my number. This time around they just wanted it to be random so they let us pick the number and I got number one. And I haven't said anything yet. I don't know why but I just got a new suit and I'm competing tomorrow. Um, there was some problems with customs so I hadn't gotten the suit but it finally came in today the day before the show. So super excited to open it up. Super excited to see what it looks like. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. I hate how yellow this lighting is, but what is a girl supposed to do? How do I talk to you guys? Bathroom lighting? Yes. Mm. Right here. There we go. That's gonna be it. Right there. Perfect. So, we just had uh, the greet and meet, and it was actually a really cool experience, even though most of the people came to see Dennis Wolf, Dexter Jackson, William Bonac, Rolly Winkler, Big Ramy. If you guys don't know who they are, they're very successful bodybuilders. They're like the top bodybuilders in the industry, in my opinion, anyways. And I mean, they're like top Olympians, so yeah, pretty big deal. So most of the crowd was definitely here for them, but I did have quite a bit of people like come up to me and say hi and like take pictures with me, so it felt really cool. And um, there was one girl in particular, she was at the gym and she didn't know that I was gonna be at the greet and meet tonight. So she came after the gym and her husband like, I was on my way out leaving and he's like, oh, um, she's just on her way from the gym. So I went back and waited for her and I got to meet her and she was like tearing up and I almost teared up and like that's just, you know, like at the end of the day, that's what makes everything that I do so worth it. Not just the fact that, you know, there's a placing that might come out of it or anything like that. It's just the fact that I get to make some sort of an impact, a positive impact on someone's life. Like that's what makes this so worth it to me and that's what makes what I do so amazing and that's why I love what I do it's just so much more than you know just having abs or like getting ready for a show or it's just so much more than that um, I feel like people get very caught up on the negative sides of the fitness industry and I feel like yes there's a lot of negativity and a lot of bad things that can happen and that come with it but there's also a lot of good so let's not forget about the good and positive impact that you can have when you share your journey with other people so that was an amazing experience I I got my first coat of tan on. It's looking a little bit streaky already, so not good, no bueno. Um, even this part right there is like very white. So I'll get my second coat tomorrow. Hopefully they can make me look a lot darker because I'm pretty light right now. Feeling ready, feeling excited, feeling super happy and just happy to be here. As always, like I said before, you know, it's about so much more than just the placing, just the journey and everything that makes it so freaking worth it. So beyond ready for tomorrow, I'm gonna get my last meal in and literally go to sleep because I am exhausted. So. I, if there's anything else that I need to show you guys, 
later tonight I will. I don't think so though. My room's a mess and I just want to get it all together because I hate messes. See you guys tomorrow. What is that? Good morning YouTube fam. We are here at the venue because this is where I'll be getting my makeup and my second coat of tan on. Um, I guess I should say today is the day if you didn't guess already. But uh, I'm getting super excited. I can't believe that like the day that I've been working towards for the past 20 weeks is finally here. So I got my meal here. I think it's going to be around an hour until I head back to the hotel and start getting ready. And then we'll be on stage at around 11 in the morning. Still trying to get used to like, the whole pro thing, how we're on stage so early. But it's amazing and I love the fact that we're done super early. So super excited for the day. Super excited to bring you guys along with me. I hope you guys enjoyed today. Today's vlog, let's do the damn thing. What is up, YouTube? I am back and looking like an Oompa Loompa once again. <laughs> So I got my makeup done, uh, came back to the hotel room, literally like redid almost the whole entire thing because I just wasn't feeling it. My next goal for my next show isn't to come in looking better or anything, it's just to do my own makeup. My next show is next Saturday so I might go makeup shopping in Finland and just find some foundation and try to do this thing myself because every single time I get my makeup done and pay a whole bunch of money for it I end up just not liking it and it's not that they're not good at doing makeup it's just that I'm really really picky like really picky like if you know me really well you know I'm pretty picky so um, came back kind of redid it and I am really happy with it now same with my hair which is done by yours truly and I'm feeling ready about to head over there I'm probably not gonna eat until after I get off stage just making sure I keep drinking water stay hydrated but I already had my first meal this morning and that's probably gonna be the only thing I eat until after feeling good feeling excited just wanna be back off on stage yeah <laughs> Oh my god fam, what a day and it's not even close to being done yet. I am so freaking tired. <laughs> like, can you tell how tired I am? Um, they said that we should be there at 10 in the morning. So, me being my punctual normal self, <laughs> obviously I'm not. I got there at 10.30 and we didn't go on stage until 1. So, got super impatient. I was like almost grumpy, obviously, before we got on stage. All my adrenaline and hype came back. I had a blast on stage once again. I think I got second call outs. I think either way, I got into like the top 10 placing, which is kind of cool, even though there's not that many girls. There's like 13 girls. It's been an awesome experience so far, obviously. I'm in frock. Like, it's amazing. And right now, I'm just really tired. <laughs> Ooh, and I found 200 crown. That being said, uh, I'm gonna relax a lot because we don't have to go back till 6, which is in like 4 hours, so I'm gonna relax. Definitely get some work done, like for sure. I need to send out some climb plans, so I'm gonna sit down and do that right now. I have a girl competing next weekend, so I'm super excited for her. So I gotta do her peak week plan and everything, so that's kind of what's going on right now, honestly. Show day is nothing too different from my normal life, besides the fact that I look like an Oompa Loompa, and I'm actually... I'm not going to say I like this look because I don't, but I look presentable, not really because I don't think this is considered normal in real life. <laughs> and in case you guys care, I am having some chicken, potato, and some salt. This is so glamorous, isn't it? What else would I be doing? It's around 6.30. 
got some peanut butter and jelly on my rice cake. Touching up my face, my hair. Ugh, I hate how I look right now. Like, this is disgusting. Heading back to the venue for finals. I'm supposed to be there for 7, so I got 30 minutes, so we're good on time. Um, it'll probably run super late again, like this morning. I got to see some of my pre judging pictures, and I am super freaking stoked because my glutes improved so much since last show, which is my entire physique. Like, the tightness that I brought into the show is crazy, and I'm just trying to remind myself that like, that's what matters the most is the improvements that you see within yourself. Because at the end of the day, it's you versus you and your journey, like no one else. So if you can beat what you've done before, and if you've improved, then that's all that truly matters. So seeing those pictures, I was like, that's me. What? <laughs> that's crazy. So. Honestly, that's what truly matters. I'm super excited to go back, finish the day strong, and I'm not sure what the plan is for after. I know we're all like gonna do something as a group, but I do not know if I get like a meal or Jose hasn't really mentioned anything. I haven't really asked either because it's not like the first thought in my mind, but I wouldn't mind. <laughs> Basically, it's like protein ball. This is a fat, like with coconut, so it's a good fat. Six gram protein, five gram carbs, and two gram uh, fiber. So yeah. micro friendly. I'm trying carrot cake. Yeah. Carrot By the way, got seventh place. You know you're competing in the pro circuit when you're happy about seventh place. <laughs> These are available for purchasing because they're bomb and they have good macros. We are about to head out to grab a bite to eat because Jose said that I could have a free meal. We do have Nordic Pro coming up next week, so I'm still one week out today, which is crazy to me. But I don't think a free meal is going to hurt me at this point. If anything, it'll fill me out a little bit, um, help me from flattening out so I don't come in flat next show. But we are about to try the Mars protein bar. I'm gonna silence. And now, this one. This one I'm actually more excited about because I love Snickers. It can definitely like, taste like the chalkiness, but I mean, it does taste like the Mars. Olga's in the video. Say hi, Olga. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. Yep. This one's way better. Oh. On flick. Heading out right now. I will most likely just finish vlogging on my phone because I don't feel like taking my camera with me. We'll catch you at wherever we go to eat. My burger, my hand, my face. So, just in case anyone was wondering what a bikini competitor actually does the day after a show, that's what I'm doing. I'm literally packing all my food for tomorrow because I am leaving to Finland tomorrow. As you guys know, I am competing again at the Nordic Pro. I did try to keep myself very in control at the banquet, which you guys will see some clips of right now. I didn't grab any of the savory food because I had the burger at the Hard Rock Cafe, which was amazing, by the way. It was really greasy, but it was good. I'm not going to lie. So um, I tried some of the stuff at the banquet, and some of the stuff was good. Some of the stuff just wasn't. It was kind of like a Vegas buffet. It's very hit and miss. So um, I came back here, started packing all my stuff because I'm leaving tomorrow, like I said, and I still have one cardio session to get in and one training session. So we're going to head to the gym bright and early tomorrow. I plan to be there right at 9 when it opens. I do have a one week pass, so don't have to pay for that. Just got to pay for the Uber to get there. So I'm um, trying to leave everything packed tonight, kind of pack some food of what I have left. So far I have basically chicken, salad, potato, and then I have um, one baggie of protein powder. I have 40 grams in here, so I'll be using half and half for two oatmeal that I'm packing. So we're gonna bring a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I haven't logged anything into my fitness pal, but obviously tomorrow is right back to business. You know, they haven't really talked about our plans for next weekend yet. I honestly don't think anything is really gonna change. Um, enjoy my 
next week here in Europe and I still have like another week here so it's we're not quite done yet. Um, I had a really good experience today. Um, the fact that I improved not only in my physique but my placement is amazing. also got 500 bucks for getting seventh place so that was pretty sweet you know um, they picked top six and then the rest like seven to ten so you know knowing that I was just like one step off from being up with the six girls that three of them actually just got off the Olympia stage so there was a lot of good competitors I'm really 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 happy with my placing it was a really well run show it was very organized I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel and you enjoy my content then make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you have any questions for me anything to tell me make sure to leave it down below see you guys next video